Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to talk about five common false rumors, misconceptions, and myths about antennas and over-the-air TV. I've had my YouTube channel for over two years now and noticed certain comments that people are saying in regards to antennas and over-the-air TV that are completely false. The people who believe these rumors and myths are likely to either mess up their antenna setup and not get reliable reception or not even try an antenna and stay on cable and satellite. What are these myths about antennas that many people, maybe even yourself, have been misled to believe? You'll find out in this video. Before I get into this topic, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications. Please share this video on social media as well, since there is a good chance you may have friends or family members who tried cutting the cord but failed due to believing one of these false rumors. So back to the main subject of this video. As I mentioned earlier, there are several false rumors I keep seeing people comment about in regards to antennas. These rumors keep coming up to the point I have to make this video to specifically address them and inform people about the truth. Here are some of the rumors I am going to address in the video. I need an HD antenna. An antenna won't work in my area. I tried one. My HOA won't let me mount an outdoor antenna. Antennas don't have DVRs and the picture quality is bad. All of these are either misconceptions, false rumors, or in the case of some HOAs, illegal restrictions. The first rumor I'm going to address is the belief that you need a special HD digital antenna in order to get over the air TV since the standard is digital. I try to say this in almost every video I make, but I still see some people talking about specific HD or digital antennas. There's no such thing as an HD or digital antenna. These are just keywords antenna companies use to improve visibility on search results because it's what most people are honestly looking up. The average person is looking up HD antenna, digital antenna, even though it doesn't exist. These words also confuse people into thinking that an antenna is special because of the HD keyword when it's probably just a piece of junk. Common keywords used are like HD, digital, 4K, ATSC 3.0, the list goes on and on. These are just keywords used to make the antennas come up relevant on search results and don't have really anything to do with the antenna themselves. TV antennas are pieces of metal cut to pick up certain frequencies, usually on the VHF and UHF band. It doesn't matter if the signal is broadcasting an analog or new digital standard, or even a 4K standard in the future. The antenna will still pick up the TV stations as long as the station is in the frequency range the antenna is designed to receive. Looking up an HD antenna will likely lead you into buying a piece of junk. You need to look at the elements on an antenna and how many of them there are. UHF frequencies require small antenna elements while VHF frequencies require longer antenna elements. Flat antennas like this don't have any VHF elements and won't work well to pick up channels 2 through 13 reliably. Nearly every area has major stations on the VHF band, so avoid buying these junk flat antennas at all costs. I won't rant much longer about this, but please, please understand there is no such thing as an HD antenna. HD is the picture size a TV station broadcasts. It has nothing to do with any aspect of an antenna. Don't use the search terms HD antenna if you are trying to purchase an antenna on Amazon or eBay. Use my YouTube channel as a resource. I have plenty of antenna reviews and will tell you outright whether it is a decent model or not. I also offer antenna recommendations specific to your area on my website at antennamanpa.com. Another misconception I keep seeing about people who are considering cutting the cord with an antenna but don't do so is that an antenna will not work for them because antennaweb.org shows there are no channels that can be picked up at their location. Here's the deal. Antennaweb.org usually underestimates the number of channels someone can pick up. I've experienced this firsthand when installing antennas. 
AntennaWeb.org would say the customer would only get one or two channels, but when I set up the antenna, I got many more. I informed AntennaWeb.org about this issue, and their response was they wanted to stay conservative when predicting the amount of channels someone could pick up at their location. Another part of the whole an antenna won't work in my area is for people that say, oh, I tried an antenna and it didn't work, or I live in a rural area and antennas don't work here. I run close to 3,000 reception reports to help troubleshoot people's reception problems across the whole United States and even Canada. I found that 99% of people can get reliable reception of their local ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox stations. Most just get the wrong antenna for their area and give up relatively easily. Antennas truly are not a one-size-fits-all model. You have to do your research to see the TV frequencies in your area and how strong or weak they are. A small antenna like this is not going to do well if your signals are on the fair to weak side or if you have a lot of trees around. As I said, I do offer an antenna recommendation service on my website at antennamanpa.com or you can use my YouTube channel as a resource. Another common misconception I see about antennas is from people who live in HOAs. The HOA tells them they can't mount an outdoor antenna and they just stick in the attic. If they're in a bad reception area, they will not get reliable reception in the attic. Restrictions on outdoor antennas in most cases are illegal per the FCC's over the air reception devices rule. Now don't get me wrong, Many of you who live in a strong signal area may be able to get away with an antenna in your attic. However, putting any antenna in the attic will weaken the signals by up to 30%. If the signals in your area are weak, you'll need an outdoor antenna. Illegal HOA restrictions sort of corner homeowners into believing that they have no choice but to pay for cable or satellite. This really makes my blood boil, especially when there are sometimes kickbacks given to the HOA by a local cable operator to be the only option in the community. If you live in an HOA that has an illegal restriction on outdoor antennas, print out the FCC law, present it to them, and they should back off. If they don't, there are resources to get the feds involved. I attached a link in the description of my video to the FCC law. Another false rumor I keep seeing about antennas is that there are no DVR options, like there are on cable and satellite. There are actually several DVR options if you use an antenna. One of them costs as little as $30 and works like a VCR. The Tableau, which runs between $150 and $200, has some crazy features, such as being able to watch wirelessly on multiple TV sets, access to your local channels anywhere on a smartphone, an automatic commercial skip. I attach links in the description to both DVRs along with my video reviews of other over-the-air DVRs. The final false rumor I need to address about antennas is the picture quality. There are many people out there who believe TV from an antenna looks like this, a fuzzy mess of static and lines. Since 2009, full-powered TV stations have been required to broadcast a crystal clear digital signal most of them in high definition. The picture quality you get from an antenna is actually better than cable, satellite, or even streaming TV services. I've used an antenna ever since the digital transition took place. I'm so used to the better picture quality that when I visit a friend's house, I'll look at the TV and notice that the picture quality doesn't look as good even if they have a high definition or 4K TV. I found that the majority of viewing on cable is from ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox, which are available free over the air. Yet 80% of people are paying for these channels on cable, satellite, and even streaming services. There's no reason to pay for things that are free, yet as I said, 80% of people are doing it. Hopefully this video helped expel some of the false rumors about TV antennas and over-the-air TV. There's no such thing as an HD antenna. Antennas will work for the majority of people. Don't say it won't work for your area. It probably will work. HOA restrictions on outdoor antennas are illegal. There are plenty of DVR options, and the picture quality on an antenna is better than cable and satellite. If you're considering an antenna, what are you waiting for? Your next cable bill? Take the steps today and truly cut the cord to be free from cable forever. Research the antenna that you need for your area. Hire an installer to install the antenna if you lack the skill to put it up. 
Purchase a DVR of your choice and watch the savings start to pile up. Most people will save at least $1,000 a year by using an antenna. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. A huge thanks to Edward, Aaron, Lewis, Jerry, and all who support me on Patreon and are members of my YouTube channel. If you would like to help support these valuable cord cutting videos while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, direct contact with me.